Long before the age of dinosaurs, the Earth belonged to shadows and silence. It was the Carboniferous period, an ancient chapter in our planet's story where forests grew taller than cathedrals and insects the size of eagles ruled the skies. Spanning from 359 to 299 million years ago, the Carboniferous was a world of extremes. High oxygen levels, dense humidity. Below the tangled canopy, life was experimenting. The swamps of the Carboniferous were breeding grounds for a new kind of animal, the amphibian. Neither fish nor reptile. They were pioneers between two worlds. Meet Ichthyostega, one of evolution's first four-legged pioneers, appearing about 365 million years ago in the late Devonian. Roughly 1 to 1.5 meters long, its broad, flat skull sat low above the waterline, with eyes atop its head, ready for threats and prey alike. As twilight deepens, the swamp takes on an eerie hush. Suddenly, a trembling pulse around flattened logs. Beneath the leaf litter, something massive stirs. A juvenile arthropleura, about a meter long, stalks the forest floor. Though considered a detritivore, juveniles like this may still bite, driven by hunger and opportunity. The chase intensifies as Ichthyostega scrambles into deeper water, its tail fins slicing through the mud. But the juvenile Arthropleura, driven by hunger, keeps pace. Though adults survived as herbivores, juveniles may have been carnivorous, jaw tipped for tearing flesh if opportunity arose. In the crowded swamp, escape is never guaranteed. Ichthyostega lunges sideways, too slow, too close. Mandibles snap, crushing bone and scale. Swamp's heartbeat pounds as predator meets prey. Ichthyostega fights, but the millipede's armor holds. Its grip tightens, dragging the struggling amphibian into deeper gloom. A harsh lesson carved into Carboniferous time. In this ancient world, even a misstep, a moment too slow, too confident, meant death. Meet Proterogyrinus, whose name means earlier wanderer, a sleek reptile-like amphibian stalking Carboniferous waterways approximately 331 to 323 million years ago. Stretching over two meters long, its body was long and slender. Its tail flattened to power through water and its eyes perched atop its skull, keeping watch above the surface. Proterogyrinus straddled two worlds. Its limbs were strong and fully ossified, capable of bearing its weight on land. Yet its lateral line grooves and ear notches spoke to an aquatic life. In these shadowy waters lurks Crassigyrinus, the thick tadpole of the early Carboniferous, an aquatic terror reaching up to two meters in length. Its body is sleek, snake-like limbs vestigial, tiny paddles barely useful on land. This creature is fully committed to water life. Eyes high on the head, spherical notches hinting at hidden gills, and a skull reinforced with bony ridges. An engineering marvel built to snap prey with crushing force. Like a modern pike or moray eel, it lurked in thick aquatic vegetation, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Modern CT scans confirm its crocodile-like skull, reinforcing that this tadpole was far more predator than prey, a top-tier ambush killer of its day. Behold Meganeura Monyi, the giant carboniferous dragonfly, with a wingspan of 65 to 70 centimeters and weighing up to 150 grams. Its enormous compound eyes and spiny, barbed legs made it a fearsome aerial predator, grabbing insects and even small amphibians, ruling the swampy skies of a high oxygen world. On land, Ereops reigned, 
a stocky, muscular amphibian over two meters long. With a massive head and powerful jaws, it patrolled the damp undergrowth like a prehistoric bulldog, devouring anything foolish enough to cross its path. Its sturdy limbs, strong vertebrae, and even a rudimentary ear structure show that it was exquisitely adapted to move on land and ambush prey from the water's edge. This is Sigillaria, a towering tree-like lycophyte reaching up to 30 meters high. Its smooth green trunk bore vertical scars where long grass-like leaves spiraled around the stem like a giant prehistoric bottle brush. Unlike modern trees, it lacked wood. Instead, a dense layer of leaf bases provided strength, while the central trunk filled with soft pith. Rapid growing and spore bearing, Sigillaria thrived in swampy coal forests, its fallen trunks later forming the peat and coal seams that fuel our world. Meet Tempskia, the false trunk tree fern. Instead of wood, its trunk was a tight tangle of stems, wrapped in thick adventitious roots, reaching up to six meters tall and half a meter wide. With small leaves sprouting all along its trunk, this fern ruled the wet, swampy lowlands. Its fallen trunks eventually turning to stone as star-shaped fossil cabochons. Medullosa a towering late carboniferous seed fern, reaching around 10 meters tall, with massive fern-like fronds up to seven meters long. Though resembling a fern, it reproduced by seeds and had a woody, vascular cortex, bridging the evolutionary gap toward modern gymnosperms. In the vast carboniferous coal forests, trees and plants die, piled into deep wet peat swamps, and over millions of years became thick seams of coal that fueled the Industrial Revolution. Today, humans, harnessing this ancient energy, have become the most dangerous creatures ever, reshaping climate and ecosystems. We've cut down forests, driven wildlife declines, and triggered a mass extinction, reminding us that the greatest threat on Earth may be ourselves. If you enjoyed this journey into deep time, like and subscribe for more glimpses into Earth's forgotten past. Which ancient creature would you like to meet next? Let us know in the comments.